Welcome to At The Vanguard. We're TB Vanguard, and our motto is for fans, by fans. We showcase fans on the front line of the Team Boozy movement. This podcast is an open forum to discuss current topics as they relate to Chris Brown and his fan base. Hey everybody, welcome to At The Vanguard. Today is September 28th, 2020. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm Nikki. Paula. I'm Dee. I'm Jessica, and I reached 30,000 followers. Yay! Yay! I'm Tasha. Thank you. I'm Shay. I'm Jamie. And I'm April. Well, we've had a... uh... What's, what do we call this week? I don't know. We had a dubious week. Oh, we'll call it a dubious. Um, Sam, you want to talk about uh, Go Crazy? Yes, Go Crazy has re- Well, it's over 1.5 million. Uh, uh, what is it? Stream units. You so sell, yeah. 1.5 <laughs> <laughs> units, but um, it was posted on um, Chart Data, but. That's not including the video view, so it's much higher than, uh, or much closer than, much closer to going double platinum. Yes. Once the uh, video video views count, are included. Yes. Yes. Because Go Crazy is like 49 million views now, so. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Double. Here's the thing, uh, you know, we had a beautiful new video, um, Say You Love Me, very creative, um, you know, uh, other sites like The Shade Room and other sites uh, posted links, you know, posted the video and people were very positive about it, but we <laughs> lost momentum and people got distracted by Chris's name being mentioned in a song by Tory Lane. Um, no, it is not a negative statement that he made. It's not, that's not the point. The point is, he didn't need to mention him at all. I mean, he just didn't need to mention him at all. What did everybody do? Not at this point. Right. Not at this point. He Anybody want to do back then? Right. Was it, was anybody, anybody have something to say about, you know, him using, him doing that? I think it was more that people were, he was trending on Twitter and people were rushing to see what everybody was saying to defend him instead of streaming. Who cares what people are saying on Twitter and stuff? People, they just need to go back in and just keep streaming the, the video. And it's well, like, yeah, they were streaming the wrong song. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they're distracted off of something that they didn't even need to worry about at this time. You know what I'm saying? Right. It had nothing to do with them. Right. And, it, and I, I mean, not to be negative, but that happens a lot in the fan base. Like yeah, the I, negativity gets more attention than what we should be focused on. Yep. Every time. And I also was a surprise. Like no one was uh, anticipating uh, him to be mentioned in the song, and then it, he was trending all day. Yes. <laughs> So um, that was probably, you know, of course it's a distraction, and um, but we, we, it's over now. I don't hear much talk about it anymore, so we'll get back. Well, that, that, the thing is, that's the whole thing. It, it's not about that. It's, it's just the fact that at this point, um, Say You Love Me, when it had two billion, you know, a million per day, and then all of a sudden, now we've only got, what, a little over three million? It's been a week. It's, you probably have like seven by now, you know, if it hadn't been for that distraction. So that's the main thing. It's like to try to get everybody kicked back and kick back into the um, habit of streaming and, and right. watching the right. video. Right. And the thing is, it's a streaming party. That's what we have to right. do. But if you lose your time. momentum, it is very hard to get it back. Exactly. Yeah. Unless it's exactly. like a TikTok or something, somebody takes off with it or something right. else external. 
Um, I think I'm gonna. I wish. I, I, sometimes Chris listens to me. Sometimes he doesn't. I'm gonna um, in the DM tell him. You know, to post it on, post a clip of the video and TikTok. He's got over a million followers on TikTok. That would help. I'm gonna post it on our TikTok too. But we only we don't have that many followers, but it could, you know, with enough hashtags, you may get. You know, make, maybe it'll get some attention. But the, right. the thing is to, like you said, losing momentum is, is a problem, and we had the general public's attention. For a minute, yeah. and that's what that's a huge loss because they would just be watching it just for entertainment. You know, we'd be streaming it, maybe you know, watching it for a while, we'd be streaming it. But th- then there would be more and more people watching it if it was on the outside, and that was the advantage we had for a minute, all of the minutes. But yeah. um, so I don't know. So I guess we can, tr- you know, do some streaming parties. Um, and well, uh, like, Chris posted um, a little bit more information on the making of it. He said it was what ten um, illustrators and two months. Yeah. And so maybe you know that's going to help people you know try and look at it again. But maybe we think of something real creative. We got you know people with followers, and I'm sure we could think of something. Yeah. Well, for one thing, um, I'm, I'm going to do the swipe up link again. I, I I've done it periodically. I'm going to do it again so, you know, because so, people will, are more likely to just touch the button and, and just go watch it. If they don't, you know, if they don't have to go into the app or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing. And you do, and you know, it's a good idea to put hashtags, even though I hide mine usually, but put hashtags in your, um, in your stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can only do one that with the um, official hashtag, but you can go in with the uh, writer and just type and just type in hashtags. Yeah, and I usually put them on white and push them where they can't be seen, just so they're not obvious. But I sometimes put as many as many six or seven in there. Um, you know, and, and it gets a lot of attention. So that's that's something we can do when we when we post with our swipe up. Um, so I think I think everybody with over ten thousand needs to do that. And then also, you know, a streaming party or two or several. Um, does anybody have any other ideas? Um, I, I just wanted to uh, just say that it's going to uh, hit radio tomorrow, I believe. Oh. I think it's the 29th, right? September the 29th? Yes, tomorrow's the 29th, yeah. Yeah, yeah radio is always a week behind. But I've seen it added to uh, uh, some urban radio stations already. Not many, but uh, last week, actually. But yeah, I Monday. guess um, for all stations or for, you know, I guess maybe those stations that just wanted to play the song or like the song right. have um, added it. But I, it's going to affect all radio on the 29th, if that's correct date. Yeah. One other thing. Um... On October 1st, the votes for best collaboration on um, Billboard Music Awards will be open. Mm-hmm. So I think that's another swipe up that we need to, or at least a link in your bio, if you don't, if you don't have the swipe up, to the page where they can vote. That mm-hmm. is a voter, uh, you know, a fan voted um, category. And Chris is up for best collaboration, so... I think well, that's another one, and we'll make sure we hashtag. Um, is it OVO? Is that what Drake's fans are called? OVO? Uh, I don't know what Drake's fans, but I know a couple of um, his fan pages. So, um, just at them, um, at them with the um, you know, when, when you, when you post something. it, yeah, and and um, and, and hashtag his name and his Instagram name and put a real name and um. Also, the song, hashtag the song, and hashtag the collab. So, that's a, another way to get some, you know, get some attention back on the real thing, the music. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. does anybody have anything else? Um, just go crazy. We need to keep pushing go crazy, too, because that's right. still the closest song. Get that back in the top 10. I mean, yeah. I believe this whole net 13, so... It's right. still right there. You can't forget about Go Crazy. I'll tell you one thing, cute thing, for um, National Daughter Day, I mean, Chris has or referred to all the time, but he posted a video of her playing on his basketball court. That was cute. Mm-hmm. For National Daughter Day. 
Yeah, she's looking really tall. Oh, she's definitely gonna be tall. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> oh my god, Jess. He's a little scary. He's how big he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nikki, can you take us out? Are you ready? Edit. All right, everybody. We're checking with you guys next week. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on this episode, and we hope you'll join us again at the Vanguard.